This is question 29. The College Board is asking which equation best models the temperature of hot chocolate that starts out at 185 degrees Fahrenheit at 6 p.m., then 156 at 605, and 135 degrees Fahrenheit at 610 p.m. And this is much easier as a calculator question, although we can rule out choice A immediately the temperature of the hot chocolate continues to decrease. Choice A is increasing as M increases, so that cannot be correct. Choice B, you may want to go to your calculator and put in M equals 10. Clearly at M equals 0 we get 185, which is the correct starting temperature, but at M equals 10, on either a graph and calculator, you can go to Y equals, or on a regular scientific calculator, 185 times 0.85 to the power 10, it says at 10 minutes our hot chocolate is at 36 degrees. That's cold milk, not hot chocolate, and it's supposed to be at 135, not 36. We're 100 degrees off. So choice B is clearly wrong. That's not within rounding error or within approximation. Let's try choice C at 10 minutes. That is 185 minus 70 is 115 at M equals 0, 115 times 0.7. 5 to the 0 is 115 times 1 is 115. That does not match our starting temperature, so that is wrong. Our correct answer has to be D. Let's check it. 70 times 115, I'm sorry, 70 plus 115 times 0.75 to the power at M equals 0, that's to the 0, so that's 115 times 1 is 115, plus 70 is 185. That matches. At m equals 5, 115 times 0.75 to the 5 fifths is 156.25, which matches. It's within a quarter degrees. And at m equals 10, 0.75 to the 10 over 5 is 0.75 squared. 115 times that plus 70 is 134.69, and we're supposed to get 135. So choice D matches the equation for all three temperatures we have been given. That is the correct answer. They ask which best models the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, and we modeled it within well under one degree, so choice D makes sense, and the others are clearly incorrect. Often when you're trying to fit a model rather than using some sort of regression, the best answer is to plug in points and see which one matches. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.